Hi, this is Rob with Botana Media. I'm going to do a review on the optical zoom, digital zoom, and the digital teleconverter on the Canon PowerShot SX260. Hi, I'm in Audimento Square in front of the City Hall building in Valencia, Spain. The main thing I like about this SX260 is the optical zoom on this camera. This camera has a 20x optical zoom. 3x, 10x, 15x, 20x. What does 20x actually mean? 20x means that the object will appear 20 times closer than it appears with the naked eye. The SX260 has a 20x optical zoom and an 80x digital zoom. What's the difference between optical zoom and digital zoom? Optical zoom uses the glass and the lens to bring the object closer to the digital sensor. When using optical zoom, it will record over the entire digital sensor of the camera. The SX260 is a 12.1 megapixel camera. If your image recording size is set to large and you take a photo with the optical zoom, you will get a 12.1 megapixel image. With digital zoom, digital zoom crops in on the image on the sensor, thus reducing the megapixels available to record your image, thus possibly turning your 12.1 megapixel camera into a 3 megapixel camera. This is not a problem if you're going to use the image for email or Facebook. It may be better just to use the optical zoom and then in your image editing software crop the area of the image you want to display. This is essentially what digital zoom is doing inside the camera. How do you use the digital zoom in the SX260? To use the digital zoom in the SX260, first you need to make sure you are in the 4 to 3 aspect ratio. Aspect ratio of an image is the proportional relationship between its width and height. It's expressed as two numbers separated by a colon. The first number represents the width and the second number represents the height. In the SX260 you can choose between four different aspect ratios. 1 to 1, 4 to 3, 3 to 2, and 16 to 9. 1 to 1 is the shape of a square. 4 to 3 is the same shape of the screen on the back of the SX260. 3 to 2 is the same ratio as 35 millimeter film and used for printing 5 by 7s. This is my preferred aspect ratio for shooting. 16 to 9 is the same ratio as widescreen HD TVs. However, to use the digital zoom of this camera, you need to be in the 4 to 3 aspect ratio. The digital zoom will not work in any other aspect ratio other than the 4 to 3 in this camera. To set the aspect ratio, turn on the camera, press the function set button in the center of the control dial, scroll down until you see a ratio, press the function set button, then scroll down or up to the desired aspect ratio, in this case 4 to 3, then press the function set button. After you are in the 4 to 3 aspect ratio, go to the menu by pressing the menu button, scroll down to the digital zoom, and then choose standard. The 1.5x and the 2.0x is to set the digital teleconverter. We'll talk about the digital teleconverter later. Now press the menu button to exit the menu. We are now ready to use the digital zoom. On this camera you just use the zoom lever as normal. On the LCD monitor on top it will indicate the zoom factor that you are currently in. This line indicates the 20x mark. Once you pass the 20x, the bar will turn yellow. Then when you pass the 40x, the bar will turn blue. Anything past 20x on this camera, you're using digital zoom. The maximum digital zoom for this camera is 80x. Now let's talk about the digital teleconverter. On this camera, the digital teleconverter will convert the zoom range of the optical zoom by a factor of 1.5x or 2x, and it will do this digitally by cropping on the camera's sensor. However, now you have no optical zoom. The whole zoom range is being digitally cropped, and you can't achieve an 80x digital zoom as we did when we were using the standard digital zoom. The digital zoom and digital teleconverter cannot be used simultaneously. What's the advantage of using a digital teleconverter? Well, Canon says that in low light situations, you can get a slightly larger aperture at a digital focal length. The larger aperture lets in more light, but for the average shooter, you're not going to notice a big difference. And I would recommend that you keep the digital zoom set to standard and never use the digital teleconverter. The digital zoom will also work while recording video. While recording video, you will not get a zoom bar 
but you can see your zoom factor on the top of the video. We can go all the way to ADX Digital Zoom while recording video. At ADX, it takes about three to four seconds for it to find the focus. That's it. Optical Zoom, Digital Zoom, and Digital Teleconverter using the Canon PowerShot SX260. Below is a link to see some of the photos from the shoot. The photos are straight from the camera. They have not been post-processed at all with any photo editing software. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel.